Hello, I am Dr. Donna Baugh. I teach here on campus at BYU in the School of Family Life and I teach the clothing and textiles classes and oversee that part of the program. And I am here today to tell you about this incredible exhibit that I love. It's called Primal Forces Earth. And it's actually quilts. So when you see this, you'll think, that's not a quilt. I don't think I'd snuggle up with that one. But it's actually quilt as art. Fiber arts is a very, very big field. And a lot of people manipulate yarns and fibers and fabrics to make beautiful art pieces. And you will be amazed at their talent and their abstract of the pieces and the creativeness that you'll find. So this one here is called Glen Canyon 2. And this is a unique piece in that it's very detailed. Many of our pieces here are abstract and you have to kind of um, look at it with a squinty eye maybe. But on this one you can totally see what they're trying to tell you. It's very detailed. And this one is telling us about Glen Canyon which is Lake Powell. And it's showing us some of the detail um, of what that looks like from if you were like from taking an aerial view. And so on this one, you can come up close and you can see all the different machine quilting. So this one was pieced, which means they took pieces of fabric and they attached it to other pieces and then they came back and quilted. And the way that they've, the machine quilting did this, but she organized her machine quilting into showing you kind of a flow. You can see the flow of the river by the quilting stitches, and then you can see the cliffs and how she's changed her stitches to do the cliffs. And the other thing that she's really brought in here is her use of color. And she's tried to make this um, to where you can distinguish between the top of the cliffs and then the sides, and you can see the sandstone, and you can see the edges of the cliff here by this color, and then you can see the water and how it's really um, kind of goes into the depth of the water and then it just the clear blue of the water as it flows. So it's a beautiful description of what this canyon looks like and how nature has created this from the forces of nature which is what this exhibit is about. I think she's done a fabulous job. Okay, I would like to point out this piece and it's called Sea Glass and this is what I would consider to be one of the most traditional quilting pieces of the exhibit. Most of the pieces here are quite abstract and use really different techniques and fabrics and yarns. <clears throat> but this one, if you were a traditional quilter, you could really relate to this. And if you wanted a quilt to snuggle up to on your bed, this would be the one you'd pick out of this exhibit. But what I want to point out and what I'd like you to see on here is her use of color. She's really brought in some beautiful colors and she's also drawn your eye. As you look at the outside, you're drawn into the middle, into kind of this inner circle. And her, the title of this is called Sea Glass. And Sea Glass has lots of beautiful colors and it shines and it's vibrant. And so that's what she's tried to create here. And each one of these, this is called piece quilting, where you cut out a piece of fabric and you sew it to the next piece. So you sew all your pieces together, then you come back and you quilt it. And you quilt it with a, a, a layer in between and a backing. And so if you look here, you can see her quilting stitches have matched the shape of the peaches, pieces that she's doing. So these longer pieces here, kind of oblong, she's done straight lines. And all these straight lines on it, but it brings your eye into the middle. Then you go to something like this, and they're little circles. She's quilted this into little circles. And so, and then over here where you've got your stripes, she's done back and forth to create kind of a checkerboard a little bit here. And then here you can see she's got circles and lines. I mean, this is a busy quilt, but it just really shows you a beautiful, unique picture and her interpretation of what sea glass would look like. And you can see on her borders. And then she's also repeated some so that your eye also looks at it as a complete uh, piece. So you see you've got kind of your window pane look here and then she's repeated down in this corner and she's repeated some of her darker colors. So she's done enough repeats that you look at it as one complete piece. But the quilting is just amazing. I have, I'd like to highlight this piece here and it's called After the Warming. But when I look at this, I see cold. 
And I grew up on a ranch up in Alberta, Canada, where we had cold winters, harsh winters. And so when I saw that, it just reminded me of the beauty that we can see in a, a climate with uh, winters like that. I also served a mission in North Chicago. They have very harsh winters too. Um, but what I loved about this piece was all the materials that she used. So I'm just going to step back and read this to you. She has used cotton, wool, silk, recycled wool ties, deconstructed sweaters, tencel, which is rayon, which is another um, hybrid of natural and synthetics, fabric paint, wire, hair, heated activated stiffener. She's used all of those things, which I think is so amazing. So when I look at this, I think, boy, this is like the epitome of recycling things. But what I thought she was, was, did such an amazing job at is how she created such a three-dimensional look. So it looks like a winter day and this tree is surviving and hopefully, and in the spring will come out again. But in the winter, it's just kind of takes a back step and she's brought in the blues, a very um, kind of dull, subtle blues and grays and neutrals. But um, with her, look at her yarns, how she's used the yarns here and over here. And she's twisted them and turned them and she's done some hand embroidery right here with yarns. And wool has very unique characteristics in that it's very resilient and it's kind of nubby. And she's used a lot of the wool in here to create that. And then she has come in and quilted to create the designs as well. She's done a lot of quilting. But what's interesting about this, this is all hand quilted. So she's taken a needle and a thread and done that herself through here. And then some of this could be machine quilted, like right here. She did this in a circular motion to create knots in the wood. And that looks like knots. And then she's the deconstructed sweaters, I would say are like right here, where she's brought in all that texture. And, um, and then with the colors, her use, like on this side, she has the neutrals. On this side, she's got the darker, which gives it more depth. And then she's even, she's pieced these, which means she's joined these two pieces together and then quilted them. So, you're, so you have to join them together first, then you can quilt them or something. And then I love how she did the moon because I think to me it looks like a moon um, that's kind of shadowed in some clouds and some gray skies. And you might have a little different interpretation, but I think you'll love this piece.